The first two people who were ever documented on Necker Island were Alexander, Andrew Alexander and Don McCullen. They were a, a journalist and a photographer who marooned themselves here intentionally in 1968 to write an article. Well, it didn't go all that well. After 14 days, they abandoned the project. Both had lost about 30 pounds each. They would have done a lot better if they had met Cody Lundin. He is a survivalist or a survivor expert, surviving expert, and he runs programs. He's also the author of a book called 98.6 Degrees, The Art of Keeping Your Ass Alive. Did I just say that on TV? <laughs> hey, Cody, nice to see you. Nice to see you. So let's say the three average Joes here washed up on this island and we didn't have Richard's staff of 30 and hot and cold running margaritas. What's the first thing we'd have to do to survive? The first thing that's key is regulating body temperature. So believe it or not, 98.6, you keep your core 98.6 degrees. So we've got shelter. Primarily, it's this nice pink shirt. Okay, that's your, that's your primary shelter. Next is regulating body temperature with water. But we've got group shelter here. You see this little cabana we've made out of palm fronds here. How do you weave something like that? Pretty simple. Just weave it through, tie it. They're nice and long. Just It's cordage, ready-made, rock, ready to rock and roll. Pretty tough stuff. So it's pretty simple to set something like this up. Okay. To keep the sun off because the sun dehydrates us. So the next section is water. So here we have, courtesy mm. of Richard, the native... <laughs> drink. Go ahead, so go Jimmy, ahead you take that, all right? There. Is that real coconut right it's there? It's real coconut. Just yeah. water? Not it's, fire water, it's right? Just, nope, it's not fire water. Watch out for your toes. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what about salt open. water? What happens if you drink salt water? Salt water, your body is about 1% uh, saline and the ocean's about 4%. So if you drink that, so sodium pulls water out of your cells. So basically you go crazy, you go nuts, then you die. Thank so you, you never How want to drink coconut. <laughs> few hours. Really? That quickly? Drink. Yeah. And, but you can gather some rainwater if you don't want to drink a coconut, right? You can gather right? some rainwater, use some of the leaf structure here, or we have the coconuts here. You're it's not good. drinking your coconut no, water. That's right. <laughs> it's good. It's very tasty. It is good. Yeah, yeah it's good All right. stuff. All right, so now we've got water, we've got shelter, we're right. in pretty good shape. Clearly, you got to cook some stuff every once in a while. How do you make fire? How, how, how hard is that? There's several ways to make fire, and I have several ways over here to do it. There's a hand drill, we'll go back 10,000 BC, rubbing two sticks together, that's that. How long does that take, realistically? We'll find out. Here, Are you right? going to do it right now? Realistically, this is a magnesium block, striking insert. I'm going to set you guys up on some of this. This is how this works here. Okay, that's one other way to make heat. And we don't have much sunshine, but here's a typical magnifying glass, so we could use that as well. But we don't have enough light for that. What I have here, the other way to make fire, is the fuel element. So we have an ignition source. So what are these? These are dried uh, palms? This is coconut. Oh, coconut, okay. This is okay. the mature version of what's your, what's your drink in there. Okay. This is basically duff. Go ahead and right. rock and roll. Why did you go for the easy one, Richard? <laughs> <laughs> Why did you notice the way I grabbed that, that one? Sticks <laughs> still there. This one, this way to make fire is going to take a little bit more effort. Y'all want to try? Yeah. Let, let Jimmy try. You want to get on it? Oh, okay. Thank He's you, man. He's my hero when All it right. comes to surviving on <laughs> tropical islands. <laughs> uh, yeah. We'll set you up here and I I'll help you out. On the, on TV out. Richard once. would be on the cell phone by now, let me tell you that. <laughs> How's that so, going over there, Richard, with that fire? I think I'll have my own survivor's kit out. <laughs> we need someone to hold this base down. All right, I'll hold it. Can you hold give me a hand down. here? Yeah. I'm going to give okay. you a hand. Can hold that so it does not move. Okay. And I put it right down here next to the charcoal Right down lighter, there. Right? And downward pressure and speed. So get a little spit on your hand. Spit is good no. and do it to it. Oh, come on. Sense of artist hands. Go ahead. Now I'll help you out. Is that right? Is yep, just, yep. And then it's like Downward this, right? pressure and speed. Oh, yeah, he's going to stick gonna hurt himself. In the eye here. Okay, <laughs> is that's, that's why, why we want. have you here. That's hopeless. You've got your own survival kit, right? <laughs> yeah, I think. Um, <laughs> sorry about this. But, um, right, <laughs> oh, <laughs> <smoke>. <laughs> yes! Um, <laughs> a little caviar. What have we got here? We've got uh, Sports Illustrated. <laughs> and you even brought Girl Friday, Mobile. right? Hey, Girl Friday, come in, come in, All come right. in, come in. Oh, this is <laughs> Girl Friday or Vendela. Like Guys, we did survival. pretty well. Cody, thanks very yeah. much. <laughs> We're going to take a break. Man. Much more ahead from Necker Island right after this. <laughs> 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 <laughs>